I'm Ricky Gervais. My name's Steve Merchant. It's Carl, what's your name? I press the buttons. That's it. Carl, I press the button. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bless him. He's people are loving the K Man, aren't they? They are. People are saying they love him. He's just. Oh. He is. He's just I brilliant. think we've created a whole new Will McDonald. <laughs> I like to think so. Yeah. Carl! Or, or, or Gordon the Gopher. <laughs> I used to have a show in, in Manchester. Did, Did you used to host a show? Yeah, overnights. What kind of things was it? What kind of stuff? What sort of, what sort of tip were you on? Phone ins and stuff. Yeah, yeah. You did a phone in? Not a proper one. What did people phone in about? Just no, they didn't. That was one problem. There was no phones. Go on. No, just uh, you know how things were going and that. Problems? Were you like an agony uncle? Mm, kind of. That's amazing. Imagine that. Imagine sending someone to Carl. You got problems? <laughs> Is it delicate? We'll go to Carl Pilkington. <laughs> Hang on. There's, looks like maybe there's some uh, questions. Oh, we've got. You know, we've got a few questions here. We what's just... the one? Um, what's Carl's view on? Carl, what do you make of nudism? Who's that let from? Check, let me just check who that's from. Sort of a, there's a time and a place for it. That's from. Uh, it's very difficult to tell. That's great, you see. There's, there's a time and a place for it. That is just brilliant. <laughs> that is Dicky Bird. That's that's that sort of northern uh, confident soundbite. Wasn't it your nudism? Well, time and a place for it. There's time and a place for it. Would you do it, Steve? Would I do nudism? Yeah. He's not allowed. Not, not again. No, no, yeah. It's not, not nice, is it, really? No, it's not, we see. He's, he, he's not allowed on uh, any National Trust land doing it because no. he's caused the death of millions of starlings. That's true. There was something on BBC Choice the other night. It's a really short show. I haven't seen it before. Um, yeah. like an odd it's not. Thing. It's not a bloke eating cup of soup, and then another short show, like maybe someone cleaning their teeth with Colgate, and then the really short show. What was it called? No, on? what it was, it was about uh, this old fella who um, he's into nudism, and um, he was saying it, he's done all right. Did he out play of it. volleyball a lot? Yeah, he said it, he's done all right out of it because there's not many blokes who uh, mm-hmm. are willing to go nude for for modelling and that. And he's yeah. about seventy, so it's not. Is there much nice. cry for that, do you think? Is there much demand he's, for a 70 year old right. He's doing all right for it. Sure. Good And um, the odd thing was, you see... He had a corkscrew penis. <laughs> he was um, <laughs> he was just like walking around on the main road in like a seaside in the town. And right. yeah, and cars were... See, that's not nudism, is it? That's <laughs> mental illness. <laughs> yeah, he's just a bit d- diff. Yeah. 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 So, right. I tell you, one of your favourite programmes, isn't one of your favourite programmes just that, that one with the hot air balloon? And it's yeah, you love that, don't it just yeah. goes. It's like oh, in Sydney sometimes. Then he's at a carnival. Oh, your his favourite um, program when he was little. He used to watch it for hours. Was that little girl by a blackboard with two toys? Yeah. He used to love you that. Didn't enjoyed you? that, didn't you? Right. Listen. Here's something else I learned in the week, and we can use this if you want to give away the incubus tickets. Go on. Uh, there's a problem. Oh, I must have. There's some tickets to give away later. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what is later. Go on. Who? Carl. Who, 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 who? I don't know. Yeah. We're gonna we'll save it. It's a okay. surprise. Go on, Carl. Oh, have I ruined it? No, go on. Crack right. on, mate, crack on. Um, yeah. It was a pro- program about the, uh, the body. Sure. Um, and wh- what is it, right? Barbie doll. Why couldn't that be real? Yes. <laughs> Play a record, Carl. I, I, do, I do know the answer, actually, I have to say. What do you yes. mean, why couldn't it be real? If, if the Barbie doll was, like, a real person... Right. It wouldn't work out. <laughs> I don't understand the question! <laughs> if you do, this is what worries me. I don't understand the question. Why do you understand it? Because it's one of those facts which I've heard in the past, but... So therefore, because I know the answer, the question makes sense. But unless you, unless you know the answer, the question makes no sense. Well, of course it does. That's what's brilliant. Is it worth using for the tickets, do you think? Is it that good? It's not a real question, Carl. I don't think it can count, really. It can't be a real question. Well, b- because I, it's like one of those things about, oh, a man went into a field and died. Why? You have to ask questions. You go, oh, because it's probably, you know, but well, I've got a million explanations. Um, okay, she'd be hollow. Do you know what I mean? There no, are he's mi- right, actually. There, it is too vague. Why don't you give the answer and then you'll understand what, what your question meant. What was the answer? She'd have to walk around on all fours because... No, I've physically, got... the proportions of Barbie yeah. could yeah. not be replicated on a real human woman because she just couldn't have those di- dimensions. Yeah, we know. Yeah, but but, but that, that, that you know what I mean. Yeah, same goes for Fred Flintstone. Do you know what I mean? His head's half his body. It's a cartoon. Right. Um, Don't have a go at Carl. He's the K-Man. People love him. Sorry. God, they're going to alienate yourself. I'd like some hip hop, Steve. Seriously. Just laying into I'd like some hip hop, Steve. We'll come up with a question. We're giving away some Incubus tickets later. Look forward to that. Yeah. Uh, it's time for hip hop hooray. Uh, this is hip-hop from um. <laughs> Whoa. Hey. Okay. Whoa. Hey. This is from Adela Soul's ni- uh, 2000 album, not sure. the current one. Art Official Intelligence yeah. Mosaic Thump. Yeah, uh, they've changed a bit. Haven't they, they have, and a lot of people have dismissed Ella Soul, but there's still some tracks you can dig out. Not that as are jazzy, good. but this is a soul tip to this. This show, is a wonderful it? track. Uh, this is with me, a live, P.O.D. or Pod. <laughs>
Absolutely. As I, as I call them. Yep. On XFM 104.9, a bit of rock. Who are you? I'm Ricky Gervais. Steve Merchant here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Carl over there. Now listen, there's a bit of rock there. Yep. Takes us into a competition. We've okay. got Incubus tickets to Incubus, give away. Incubus, you say? Now, I like Incubus. Okay. I mean, for, for what they are, but, you know, I'm a bit worried about all this crossover, this new metal, and these people coming out that are a bit like Pearl Jam, and a bit more this sort of... Oh, I'm not too sure about it. Okay. I'm not still not convinced, but Incubus have got a bit of style about them. Uh, well, you know the um, the competition we just ran there, the phone in, ask Carl and thing. People were phoning up. One person said, "What do you think about new metal?" Carl just quick as fast went, "I hate it." <laughs> exactly. And he threw a question right back at them and went, "Do you listen to that in the morning?" She went, "Yeah." He went, "Wow." Well, you see, in the morning I like Ash. In the evening, I might listen to. Um, I think he said Magic. Magic FM. Yeah. yeah, but I love the fact that he is now. We've we've. Put him on a pedal. He's, he's, he's happy with his own opinions. Before he was like, mm, I don't know. And now he wants to tell the world. He'd be down Hyde Park Corner tomorrow, won't he? And they're going, right, who wants to know what I think about, I don't know. Uh... At two o'clock, I will listen to the Human League. <laughs> yeah. At Today at 4.13, I had one apple and <laughs> listened <laughs> to Primal Scream. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, you're, you're great, bloke, Carl. We better stop now because, you yeah. know, we're going to make you into the new there'll be, there'll be more from Carl next. So this is a very last question that someone... This is Jim. He's emailed in. He says, Does Carl think that the wa that Waterworld, Mad Max, Judge Dredd, or similar films present an accurate portrayal of what a post-apocalyptic world <laughs> might be like? <laughs> How do you imagine what the world will be, Carl, when the, the bomb is dropped? I have got no comment. You've okay. Got no okay. Let's, let's forget the films. What do you think the world might be like if there was, say, a nuclear war and we had to survive underground for a while till all the, um, you know, uh, uh, waste went away and we could come up and we could eat fruit again and oh, there was oh, it was all weird and we had to start from scratch. I'd rather die. <laughs> okay. Okay. Or right. you? Uh, Wouldn't you? Well, supposing it was sort of like, you know, Britain was just, uh, it was, all the buildings had gone, right? Or there was some, some bit of scavenging, there was like, and we hid underground and we came out, you know, sort of, in ten years' time. <laughs> Don't keep shaking your head, you know, the question. You can go, no, 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 <laughs> rather die. <laughs> and it's fine, you lived on tin fruit for a few years, right? Then you had to come up and start again, you had to, and you had to find other civilizations. I'd want that thing that, um, is it, is it Walt Disney had? Sort of... Cryogenically put me in, put me in preserved. A fridge thing and say, look, wake me up when it's all built again. Mm. I can't be doing with that, walking around yeah. with a hard hat on all day. Yeah, what would you do? Set an alarm clock? You're, you're <laughs> the only person. What you get in a fridge and even know if you find this, do not disturb till 2012. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I, well, yeah, but saying that wasn't. Well, I mean, what would you do first? You'd just come out, right? Come out into the light. It was just like it was like you know, um, Saxon Britain. There was nothing. You'd have to start again. What would you do? What would you do first? I'd probably go and see where I live now to see what's left of it. <laughs> I know how he thinks. Oh, Carl, if you if you were the last man on earth, right, yeah. and you had to have one other woman with which to start the human race again, right, yeah. and not your girlfriend, who would you start the human race again with? Which person would you oh. would you want to? Bear in mind, it's not just like the fact that you've got to have kids. You've got to they've got to be able to provide something in this and they, world. And they've got they to be might, leaders, and they might be all melted. And they, they, <laughs> exactly. So and their beauty may have. They've just got one good eye, uh, but now they can tell what you're thinking because <laughs> exactly. of radiation. <laughs> yeah. They and and who do you think, and. Carl? They tried to go through a pod, and there was a there was a fish in there for some reason in their Wellington. Ooh. I mean, for me, probably. No, what would you rather kiss, a mermaid or a unicorn? <laughs> Carl, quickly. Mermaid. Why? No, sh 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 no, I don't want him to answer my question. He's got a lady's face. Mm. Okay, then. What would you rather kiss, a lady with um, the body of a fish or the body of a horse? A fish. Wouldn't you? This is the best thing in the world. It's just like, you know when you call a file a rude word, and yeah. then the computer goes, do you want to open tits? <laughs> yeah. You laugh, because it's like, that's what playing with Carl's sure. like. It's sort of like, you input it, and you always get, you, get, you know what I mean? You yeah. sort of get... You get more back than you bargained for. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. oh. Probably only because, though, because I've seen films, that, that one with that Hannah Darrell, or whatever her name is in, and she looks <laughs> yeah. all right. I've never seen Hannah a film Darryl, yeah. with a woman with a horse's body. Maybe if I've seen one. I'd, I might change my mind if Okay, can, right. can you email us a picture of a woman with a horse's body? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ricky oh. at XFM. Or do they do they exist? Anyway. Do you, do you reckon unicorns exist, Carl? No. Look, no. let's play another song then, because I think we were going to give away some Incubus tickets. We seem to have got sidetracked. Okay. Um, we? Well, I'd like to play my song for the lovers. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not ashamed of this. It's an early Bowie track. It's his his sort of you know version of soul. 
It's off the Young Americans album, and it's a beautiful song called Can You Hear Me. <laughs> 